yet another episode of the show. Welcome to the show. On today's show, I'm out in Santa with the sports scene at the Put Me On Grand Finale, where we will be crowning a brand new Put Me On competition winner. Who do you think is going to win today's competition? Tweet me and let me know at Tabila underscore TTO. Otherwise, use the official hashtag for the show, which is, of course, hashtag TTO. I'm tired of talking. Let's go in and let's take over. Welcome to the show. We threw out at the Put Me On Grand Finale and we bumped into the 2019 Put Me On winner, Lucas Raps. Let's pop him. What it is? What's up? Nigga Cello, can we smoke up on our blunt? What it is? What's up? Have you achieved everything that you've put your mind to since winning the competition? Uh, I won't say I've achieved everything I've put my mind to since winning. Yeah. I'm always going for further. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no limits to where I'm thinking. Yeah. But so far looking back, I'm proud. Yeah. I'm proud. I'm happy to say like yeah. That it done well. Yeah. <laughs> it really works, you know what I mean? at the Put Me On grand finale and we bumped into a chopper that is taking over the world. Chopper, both you want to chop and jack. Ah, I'm nice, what's up? <laughs> I can't catch no smoke, I just touch and go. I can't... Now as a new artist, Abantabani, uh, when they come into the game, they first drop EPs, a few singles, when you just went straight into the album. Tell me the, 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 the thought process behind that, why? Nah, I mean, I don't want to lie, with that album, man, I just wanted to, to like, prove the point there, singing daughter, man, yeah. the name of the album is in daughter, so I just wanted to prove the point of singing daughter, and, like, just to express who's singing daughter, and, and, yeah. well, to my mom and everyone that knows me. I also know that you're a producer, you were featured on uh, Carter Tips' album, tell me about the producing work, will you still be doing that? Yeah, like, to be honest, I'm even going to submit for producer of the year next year, though. Shoot. That's how I think it is, because like I was a producer before I was an artist. Yeah. So it's like producing comes first. Yeah. Producing comes first. Go out at the Put Me On Grand Finale with Sports Team. Okay, guys, put me on grand finale 2020 winner. <laughs> Trust it, it's okay. Trust. You yeah, you brought know. it back. You understand what I'm saying? We had to speak to somebody that puts everything together, launches people's careers, and today they did absolutely just that. Lulama, who's the brand manager for Sports How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay, man. Uh, I was telling you just before we, 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 did the interview that this is just a beautiful spectacle so many people's careers have been launched thank you just last year yeah. um lucas raps and now this year trusted it's okay tell yes. me about putting this competition together what is your guys' main objective and um do you guys uh, uh, fulfill those objectives firstly though i have to acknowledge it, it's it's this has been a team effort yeah an amazing amazing team effort we've come out of the first installment last year obviously as you mentioned with lucas and now we've got trusted it's it's taken a lot and part of i think what has happened is that we've taken a lot of learning yeah. out of last year right those learnings have been such that we have realized that there's, there's, there's more to this than just the phrase of putting me on. You're with one of the top five finalists, Jules. How you doing? No, the fuck going on, how are you doing? <laughs> Bitch! How does it feel to have made it to the finale? Yo, my nigga, like, 
I'm just I feel like relieved, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like finally done. Like yeah. it's like you don't have to think about it no more, you get yeah. And I just wanna say thank you to everybody that was like pushing so hard for me. Yeah. I don't have any regrets, you know what I'm saying? Because I know we did everything, so it's all good. And now does this put any pressure on you just moving forward? I mean winning a competition alone, it's just like whoa, you're the best. It's a lot of pressure, but one thing I have to remember is that by doing me, that's how I got here. Mm. So I think if I keep that teaching to myself, I think I should be fine. To be here today, 11th of November, crowning a brand new winner in 2020, what does that mean to you? It means people were hungry, Yeah. they were tired of lockdown, and it was a case of we are not forgetting that you are out there. We're yeah. not forgetting that you want to make new music. We want, we're not forgetting that you are busy making new music. Mm. How do you actually, you know, how do you actually, where do you actually talk about it? Yeah. And that has been part and parcel of what we had to do during lockdown. We wanted to ensure that we're maintaining the conversation. Yeah. We're, not, we're not stopping to, to engage with you. We're not stopping to hear you. Yeah. We're not stopping to, to get your feedback. Yeah. So, we don't want to, I mean, there's been quite a few things, big things from, from our side that we've had to kind of stop because of lockdown. So, for example, our capsule fest, which has mm. happened. So, we've had to kind of put that aside. But putting that aside has not taken away from what Put Me On has been about. Yeah. And it just means that with now what's going to happen next year, when things, you know, hopefully will kind of get back to some sense of normality, yeah. this will be an elevation of what is going to be happening next year. Now, moving forward, I mean, with a platform like sports scene and uh, 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 just all the connections that you've made in the competition what can people expect moving forward um well you can expect a whole lot of new music that's what i've been waiting for i've been waiting yeah. for this to end because the music is coming yeah you no know, me and top a whole, whole lot of shit i know you guys wanted the one with marcus you know it's gonna come you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying a whole lot of shit coming and you'll see soon what the fuck going on now you did something um on stage when you got up there and you won you said Utiko chose you oh, to win the competition. Tell me about that. I mean, I'm thing, a big Jesus. Me too, fam. Listen. The thing is, I've been making music for 11 years, right? Sheesh. So I've always been hoping and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then I knew this this year, 2020. And, and, and I'm so sorry for that a lot of people didn't enjoy 2020. Yeah. But I won't lie, 2020 was good to me. Because SABC One's one mic, I was the only female rapper to sure. make it to top eight. I just want sports scene put me on. So when, when they called out my name, I knew that it was my time in the game yeah. to take up space. Because his timing is not your timing. Period. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but his timing is always the best timing. What advice would you give to the winner of the 2020 Put Me On competition? Because you've experienced it, you've walked the shoes, you've been uh, 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 hustling. What advice would you give her? Listen. Fuck all the noise, fuck all the chats, focus on bettering yourself, you the queen. What I like about the prize is that it literally for me just covers everything. Right? You know, like yeah. merch, you've got a deal, yeah. you've got this, you've got that. When you guys put these things together, is it is it really to really put someone on so they can stay on yeah. and elevate it and take it to the next level? That's exactly it. It's exactly mm. what you're saying now. So it's about putting you on and taking you through to that next level. It's about looking at an individual, putting ourselves with this individual against a mirror and saying, okay, what are the things that are going to take for you to actually make it? Yeah. So yes, you, you need cash. Mm. Well, from that point of view, then you need cash. You need drip. You need to dress up. Get a sponsor. We've got a brand partner who's come and play with us. Mm. Puma has been amazing. They've been with us for, for the past two years. Mm. Then, of course, it's a case of you need a music single. You need a music video. Mm. And then you kind of need to, how do we walk with you? So the, there's a full-on PR journey that yeah. we're going to be doing with this, in, this individual to get them out get them out there and just for themselves to create that sense of, I'm here. The ones that are coming up with me, I'd love to work with all of them because they're all amazing. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're all amazing. Shout out to Chase Williams. Do you understand what I'm saying? Shout out to Cash CPT. Shout out to Lucas Raps. Mm. Um, like I said in the other interview, I want to be like a sponge. And anyone that I can work with, I'm willing. Because that's how you get better. Mm. With music, you have to practice the craft. With any art, actually. The more you do it, the better you get. The more you do it, the better That's you facts. Get.
Ah. And that's it, guys. We've come to the end of the show. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the show. Keep those tweets coming, and of course, connect with me on all social media platforms. I am at Tabile underscore TTO. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and of course, subscribe to the channel and let your friends know that we are definitely taking over. A huge congratulations and a big shout out to the winner of the Put Me On 2020 competition. That is, of course, Trusted SLK. A huge shout out to Sportsy for the invite. Until the next episode of TCO, keep taking over.